Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss single phase half wave controlled rectifier with the RL load. Okay. So here it is a circuit diagram for RL load. Okay, we are having the supply voltage Vs from omega t is equal to 0 to pi. Vs is positive. Okay, so Vs is equal to Vm into sine of omega t. From omega t is equal to 0 to pi, Vs is positive, so polarity will be, yes, here it is the highest potential point, here it is the lowest potential point. So, thyristor T will be in the forward bias mode, okay. So, from 0 to pi, thyristor will be in the forward bias mode and we have applied the gate signal to the thyristor, okay. So, when thyristor is in the forward bias mode and as soon as we apply the gate signal to the thyristor, our thyristor will turn on automatically, okay. Next, when Vs is negative, so it is a minus here, here it is a plus, okay. So, our thyristor will be in the reverse bias mode, okay. So now let us discuss one by one the circuit operation during different intervals. Okay. So please check for omega t for omega t is equal to 0 to alpha. Yes, for omega t is equal to 0 to alpha, Vs is positive. Okay. Vs positive means thyristor will be in the forward bias mode. But our but we have not applied the gate signal. So our thyristor will be in the forward blocking mode right so this is the vs we are having plus minus thyristor is in the off state right are you getting the point okay so here from omega t is equal to 0 to alpha vs is positive so it is a plus here minus here but we have not applied the gate signal to the thyristor so our thyristor will be in the off state okay so mode of operation will be forward blocking mode right forward blocking mode okay next so here thyristor is acting as an open switch right so what is the current in the circuit it is a zero so we can write it as i0 it is i0 is equal to it is equal to is all are zero right so all are zero is this clear next so current in the load branch is zero so what is the voltage across the load branch it is also equal to zero right next so what is the Vt? If we apply the KVL, we will be getting Vt is equal to Vs. Vt is equal to Vs. Are you getting the point? Okay. So from omega t is equal to 0 to alpha, V0 is 0, right? V0 is 0. Vt is same as that of the supply voltage Vs. Okay. And next, It is equal to or I0 and Is is equal to 0. Okay. So what is this Vt? Vt is same as that of the supply voltage from 0 to alpha. So whatever the pulse we are having, in the supply voltage from 0 to alpha, the same pulse is repeating here or copied here, okay, in the VT, right. Next, so if you check at alpha, at alpha, the load current is 0. So, load current is 0 means what? Yes, at alpha, current flowing through inductor is 0, okay. Now, current flowing through the inductor is 0. So, at omega t is equal to alpha, if we apply the gate signal, what will happen? This inductor will oppose the sudden change in the current, right? Means from 0 ampere to the sudden non-zero ampere, okay? So, recall the network theory and the topic is transient analysis. If the initial current flowing through the inductor is 0, then at the instant of switching, inductor will behave as an open circuit, okay? So, from omega t is equal to alpha to pi, from omega t is equal to alpha to pi, alpha to pi, yes. So, what will happen? Supply voltage is positive. Now we have applied the gate signal to the thyristor, okay. So our thyristor will be in the on state, here it is R, here it is L, right, R, L, this is V0 and here it is I0. This voltage is Vt, this current is IT and here it is IS, okay. So now from alpha to pi, at alpha we are applying the gate signal. So definitely our thyristor will turn on, okay. So what is the mode of operation? It is. It will be a forward conduction mode. Okay, FCM is the forward conduction mode. Okay, next, so thyristor is acting as a short circuit. So, what is Vt? Vt is equal to 0. Okay, next, in the load, we are having the inductor. If you check the tendency of the inductor, inductor opposes the change in the current. Okay, so here, after omega t is equal to alpha, the current flowing through the circuit goes on increasing slowly. If you check the I0 in the purely resistive load and I0 in the RL load, you will understand what is the difference. In the purely resistive load at alpha, there is a sudden increase in the I0. But in the RL load, yes, the sudden increase is, is not possible. Why? Because here we are having the inductor. 
okay so inductor will oppose the sudden increase so that's why the current is increasing slowly okay so here from alpha to pi inductor goes on storing the energy right inductor goes on storing the energy in its magnetic field okay next vt is zero so what is the v0 v0 s yes, is equal to vs v0 is equal to vs right next i0 inductor is storing the energy so i0 goes on increasing slowly right i0 increases slowly right so here if you check for from omega t is equal to alpha 2 pi yes vt is equal to 0 volt v0 is same as that of the supply voltage during alpha 2 pi and what is i0 i0 go on increasing slowly okay at omega t is equal to pi i0 value is non zero and it is a positive okay next so from omega t is equal to pi to beta what will happen we are going to discuss from omega t is equal to pi to beta pi to beta yes so if you check from pi to beta supply voltage is negative so minus here plus here right after pi supply voltage is negative right so vs is yes reverse voltage okay minus here and plus here is this clear okay next very important all the point to be noted if you check at omega t is equal to pi the current flowing through the thigh resistor supply and load means all the current that is the current in the circuit is equal to non-zero okay means at omega t is equal to pi the current flowing through the inductor it was a non-zero okay and after pi the supply voltage is reverse resource this supply voltage will try to circulate current in the anti-clockwise direction right at pi actually the current flowing through the inductor was in the downward direction okay at pi the current flowing through the inductor was in the downward direction okay and it was having some value right next after pi this supply voltage will try to circulate current in the anti clockwise direction so whether this inductor will allow the sudden reversal of the current through it not possible okay so whatever the energy stored by the inductor from alpha to pi inductor will release that energy inductor will release that energy in opposition to that of the supply voltage right inductor is releasing the energy in opposition to that of the supply voltage also if you check near to the angle omega t is equal to pi near to the angle omega t is equal to pi what is the magnitude of the supply voltage it is a very very small near to the omega t is equal to pi the value of the supply voltage is very very small okay so value of the supply voltage is very very small the meaning is yes the energy of the supply voltage is also small okay so here energy of the inductor after pi till beta energy of the inductor is greater than that of the supply energy okay so that's why the resultant conduction will be through the thigh resistor only means after omega t is equal to pi even though the supply voltage is negative but then also our thigh resistor will be in the forward conduction mode only why because yes the voltage across thigh resistor is nothing but voltage across inductor minus voltage across supply but near to the pi as i said the supply voltage magnitude is very low and it is increasing slowly okay so due to that yes our thigh resistor during this interval pi to beta is a very small interval right so during this interval our thigh resistor will be in the conduction mode only and the conduction will be in the clockwise direction as well okay so now if you check after pi inductor is releasing the energy and to the inductor energy the supply voltage energy is opposing okay and as as time increases after pi the supply voltage magnitude increases okay means can we say that to the inductor energy the supply voltage energy is opposition okay and the magnitude of the supply energy voltage is also increasing okay so can we say that the opposition to the inductor energy is increasing as time increases okay so at beta at beta inductor energy becomes less than that of the supply energy inductor energy becomes less than that of the supply energy so after beta what will happen yes our inductor energy becomes less than that of the supply energy so that's why yes supply energy will become greater than that of the inductor energy and the resultant current will be in the anti-clockwise direction but our thigh resistor will not allow the reverse current okay so due to that the circuit will be at the rest position this is after omega t is equal to beta okay so from pi to beta what is happening inductor is releasing the energy okay so inductor releasing the energy so what is the current i0 i0 should go on decreasing okay i0 is decreasing right so till from pi to beta what is the vt yes we can write vt is equal to 0 volt from pi to beta right i0 is decreasing okay can we write v0 is same as that of the supply voltage right it is actually minus okay so minus vs minus v0 is equal to 0 or if you apply kvl it is a minus vs minus vt minus v0 is equal to 0 but vt is 0 
so we can write v0 is equal to minus vs right so here load voltage is a minus vs load voltage is a negative but it is same as that of the supply voltage are you getting the point this is still pi to beta so pi to beta i0 it decreases okay and from pi to beta what is vt vt is zero okay after beta what will happen that is from beta to 2 pi from omega t is equal to beta to 2 pi what will happen we are going to discuss so from beta to 2 pi again supply voltage is negative only now the supply energy is greater than that of the inductor energy or inductor has released the energy fully okay so the resultant current will be in the anticlockwise direction but this thyristor will not allow the reverse current so that's why the circuit will be at the rest position are you getting the point okay circuit will be at the rest position because thyristor will be in the reverse bias mode okay so what is the mode of operation it is a reverse blocking mode reverse blocking mode right next so here what is i0 is equal to it is equal to is all are zero yes or no right so next here what is the v0 i0 is zero so v0 is also equal to zero what is the vt yes can we write it as a plus vt plus vs is equal to zero so therefore vt is equal to minus vs okay so if you check from beta to 2 pi yes circuit will be at the rest position so i0 is zero v0 is also zero vt is same as that of the supply voltage but it is a negative okay are you getting the point right so here if you check in the v0 if you check the v0 waveform in the purely resistive load and v0 waveform in the rl load here we are having some negative voltage and this negative pulse will cause the decrease in the v0 average okay so if you take the v0 average in this case and the v0 average in the purely resistive load right in the purely resistive load you, you will be getting the more v0 average okay so this is the drawback of rl load okay so in order to overcome this drawback generally we put a free wheeling diode across the rl branch across the rl branch is this clear so this is about the circuit operation of single phase half wave control rectifier with rl load in the next video, we are going to discuss the expressions of this circuit. Thank you.